Here you are. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. That Jason going off the deep end the last couple of weeks or what? Well, if you ask me, he's gone way over. Yesterday after class, <laughs> he really scared me. Why? What'd he do? Well, he came on to me. Only this time it wasn't as a lovesick classmate. If it hadn't been for a custodian... Did you tell Tad? Well, with the way things are between Tad and me right now, I, I don't think he'd care. What? I'm going to tell you this once and only once. You stay the hell away from my wife. All My Children, brought to you by Pantene Pro-V Shampoo and Pro-V Treatment Conditioner. For hair so healthy, it shines. So you think Jason can still be reached or what? By the right therapist, maybe, if he wants to be. Well, the other day, he came over to my house the day of Laurel's funeral. And he totally skitzed out on me. He thinks that I'm the one that ruined Kevin. Why can't he see that he's the one that's making his life miserable? And Kevin's? I don't know. I guess it's easier just to blame me. Where is all this anger coming from? Insecurities, too many problems, not enough skills to solve them. I don't understand. You know, I wish... He just makes me so mad. But I'm still worried about him and what this is doing to Kevin. I know. Kevin's got a lot to deal with right now. And Jason is his only guidance. Yeah, well, see, that's what scares me, because Jason keeps thinking that he can deprogram Kevin and make him heterosexual again. It's ridiculous. Do you think we should just call their parents? I don't know. Maybe Kevin's tried to already. Well, the Sheffield housekeeper should know where they are. Maybe I should just go over there and talk to her right now. No, 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 no. Look, I'm going to go over there, okay? Because I don't want you to go there alone. What if Jason's there by himself? Thanks. <laughs> this is so out of control. Uh, this is ridiculous. I'll call you later, okay? okay? Good luck. Thanks. Bye. I just want to talk. About what? How you hate homosexuals? How you think it's okay to hurt people? I didn't mean to hurt anyone. Oh, really? Is that why you got a whole bunch of hate mongers and, and whipped them into a frenzy on the I show? I didn't know where it was headed. Oh, you knew exactly where it no, was headed. No, Dixie, believe me, I didn't know. I had no idea what was going to happen. What did you think would happen? Something good? I made a mistake. Yes, you did. You made a lot of them. You're not the person that I thought you were, Jason. You're sick. You have to work on yourself. You have a serious problem. Help me. Jason, I wouldn't begin to know how. Dixie, I can't do this alone. Find a therapist. I need you. I'm not equipped. Dixie, you're the only thing that isn't ugly in my life. Jason, the ugliness is inside you. I'm not a bad person. I didn't say you were. Please don't give up on me. I can, I can get better. I hope you can. And I really wish you the best, Jason. But right now, I would really like it if you would just leave. Don't push me away. I'm dying. Hi. Hi. Shouldn't you be in school? It's my free period. Oh, great. Hey, any break you can get, right? Well, come sit down. Right. So how are you getting along at, uh, at Brooks? She's a kick, right? Uh, well, I think I could probably go a hundred years and never describe her quite like that. Not a happy match. Well, Myrtle's was great, you know? I mean, the only reason why I met Brooks is because some stupid judge thinks I'm a helpless baby. Isn't there some place that you're supposed to be, like school? It's her free period. Well, the secretary from the school called and was wondering why you weren't in your algebra class. Have you gone mental? Get off me. I'm not kidding, Jason. I swear to God, if I'd been there, I would have called the cops. For what? Don't even try. Well, try what? Denying you made a pass through, you demented little jerk. What, do you got a spy network now? What's it up to you what I do with Dixie, huh? What's, what is it to you? What? I, I, what, are you not a friend police? Friends, this has nothing to do with friends. You jumped her. Yeah, well, get real and get off my case. It's none of your business. That's what you think. Dixie left you. What happened between us is our business, not yours. You stay out of it. Yeah, or what? Or I will make you sorry in a major way. 
Like I can take that from a guy who doesn't even bother being a husband? What is it with you? You don't want her, but you don't want anybody else to have her? Yeah, that's it. That's it exactly, Jason. Like I said, you stay away from Dixie, and while you're at it, you stay away from me. Well, that's a little hard in the workplace, Tad. I'll make it easy. You're fired. <laughs> you can't fire me. You're not my boss. Oh, but I am. Like you said, you're fired. <laughs> no way. We have an understanding. Oh, no, I think we have a misunderstanding. I will write you a letter of recommendation, but you are out. No, you can't do this. Well, I, I can't graduate without this. I'll talk to your advisor, now. get your things and leave. I don't think so. <laughs> get lost or get gone. Don't threaten me. I haven't even started yet, kid. If you're fond of your teeth, you get out now. Ooh. All right. You have not heard the last from me. Well, there's a lawsuit in the making. Should have dumped that jerk a long time ago. Yeah, sorry about that. I thought he would mature. Right. That's the uh, lineup for today. We're running a little behind. Who did this? What? Dr. Jonathan Kinder? Yeah, um, interesting interview. For whom? The DEA? Our audience. What are we going to call it? Hit and run New Age quacks? I, I think that he has his right to share his side of the story. His side you? of the story since when do we start doing infomercials for slime? He's not slime. Well, come on, this is the guy that hooked Erica on drugs. Unless we're doing a show about the evils of drugs and pushers, we don't need a guy like Kinder on the Dr. show Dr. Right Kinder now. is not a pusher. And, and, and even if he were, he would still be a valid guest. You see no ethical question in this? We're not in the business of morality. All right, we'll try this one on for size. He almost killed my niece, Kelsey, and her unborn child. How's well, that? Now, there's a controversy you can sink your teeth how into. Did you, how did you learn anything from what's been going on around here lately? The answer is no. I won't do it. I will not interview oh, Dr. Oh, yes, Jonathan you will. Kidd yes, you no. will do it. I order you to do it. Nowhere in your contract does it state that you get guest approval. Does it look like I care? You feel that strongly about it, Liza. You fire me. Stay tuned. All My Children Will Return, here on ABC. No, 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 Tad. I, I don't want to fire you. I, I would never do that, so, you know, forget it. Just forget, I, forget about it. What the hell is wrong with you? Nothing. Look, if you don't feel that it's right to have Dr. Kinder as a guest, then fine. We won't do it. Am I missing something? <laughs> what did... A minute ago, I could have sworn you were going to give me the axe for refusing. Now you're doing this complete turnaround. What? What, what am I made of stone? Your argument makes sense. It's fine. Why do we have to go on and on about it? Because normally you reign supreme. You know, bowing to none. Oh, heavens. I'm not a tyrant. It's your face and the camera. I mean, you know what's best about how you feel about all of this. I smell a hidden agenda. Oh, please. I agree with your opinion. I value your judgment. You don't want to do this, then fine. No kinder. All right. Then I'll look through the guest file and try to come up with prospective interviewees. Who live nearby, hopefully. Don't worry. I'll be brilliant. I won't make you regret dropping Dr. Feelgood. I already regret it. Here's a surprise. I just got off the red eye from L.A. Yeah, you look tired. Oh, don't worry. I'll revive in time for the show. When do we start? We don't. Our host does not accept you as a guest on our show. What? Tad Martin? Who the hell's in charge here, Liza? Tell him to do it. Jonathan, it's, it's not so simple. Tad's niece was in the car that you hit. Oh, come on. Hasn't he ever heard of professional distance? The Martin family invented the term close-knit. I mean, I think it's probably good that he refused. A hostile interview would just skewer you. Look, Liza, you make this work, or you're going to be one sorry lady. Well, see, my um, my regular algebra teacher is off on this um, family thing, so we're stuck with this really lame substitute. So that's reason to blow off algebra? Totally. I mean, subs are just space fillers. They're just glorified babysitters. Gee, that's encouraging. I'll be starting my career as a uh, space filler. 
I didn't mean you. Well, that's how I'm gonna start, as a substitute. Well, you're cool. I mean, you'll be different. No, I'll be what that substitute is. A teacher who's just trying to do her best with students who think she's not worth hanging with. Come on, don't you think you could give her a chance? Don't you think you should be going? Look, Janet's trial starts today, and I have to be there. Laura, I thought we settled this last night. I don't want to add to your pain. I know that you're worried about Janet, but if she's convicted, your being there is not going to help either one of you. You're just like everybody else. Whatever happened to innocent until proven guilty? Look, Brooke is just trying to spare you some grief. Janet is the one who is suffering. I mean, you, you should have seen her face when she thought Pierce and I believed she was guilty. Janet's all alone in this world, and I know what that's like. She at least deserves to have somebody there. Do you really believe she's innocent? I don't know. But I do know that she would want me there, and I want to be there for her. So, look, I'm sorry. I know school's important, but this is something that I have to do, okay? Thank you. I guess it's the oldest answer in the book, isn't it, Liza? What's that? To the question, why would an intelligent woman devote valuable airtime to a guy like that? Unless she's involved with him. Doctors sleeping with station managers to get onto talk shows. Hmm. He doesn't have that zing. Oh, well, then, forgive me. Uh, if it wasn't personal, then why were you lobbying so hard to get him on the show? Kinder is uh, controversial, not to mention easy on the eyes. We'd be sending a belated valentine to all of our female viewers. Oh, I see. It's like a little video present filled with candy-coated uppers. How fluffy. Liza, that creep is dangerous. Some women are into that. Are you speaking from experience? Not necessarily. You were coming on to him. <laughs> Dad! Dad! You said no show. So I was letting him down. Easy. Oh, I see. You just finessed the good doctor so he wouldn't slink out of here feeling like a loser. Dr. Is that right? Kinder is off the schedule, and I'm off the hook. Why do you care how I did it, how I did it? It's done. Is it? I saw the whole thing. I saw you together. I was standing right over there. From where I was standing, it looked like you two were generating enough sparks to, to singe every union card in this entire studio. On top of that, the man that walked out of here looked pretty happy to me. How do I know you let him down at all? You're using your position to give your new boyfriend's career a little push. <laughs> 